We're here today at Mordecai Historic Park. Located in the heart of downtown Raleigh, Mordecai is filled with history and natural beauty. Speaking with us today is Erin Campo, Assistant Site Manager of the park. In the Mordecai House, you're going to learn about the home, which is the oldest home in Raleigh on its original location. It's been here since 1785. You'll learn about the family that was here. Five different generations of the same family lived here from 1785 until 1964. The plantation, this was once a 5,000 acre plantation and up to 120 enslaved African Americans lived and worked here. So you'll learn about um, the slaves that were here as well. We also have 80% original furnishings in the home, so a lot of people are interested in the antiques in the house and we're very fortunate that most of the things that are in the house are original. Outside, you tour an 1842 plantation kitchen. We interpret it as if it were the Mordecai's kitchen, so we are able to talk about Charlotte and Millie, the enslaved cooks, and the work that they would have done. You will also see a um, law office from 1810, an 1847 chapel, which was moved here from Chatham County, and Andrew Johnson's birthplace. So Andrew Johnson's birthplace was moved here in 1975. Originally it was on Fayetteville Street. So our 17th president, Andrew Johnson, was born right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I think a lot of people are drawn here because Andrew Johnson's birthplace is here. I feel like that brings a lot of people here. Um, we run into people who are visiting all of the presidential home places and birthplaces. Um, but really what is most impressive, I think, once people get here is that there is a plantation house still standing in downtown Raleigh, and you're able to come here and learn about what life was like in the past in Raleigh, and we're really fortunate to have that. We do have a very, uh, pretty small garden. It's called the Ellen Mordecai Gardens, but it's, it's pretty small, especially compared to what the Mordecais would have had. The kitchen garden is where the fruits, vegetables, herbs that would have been used in the Mordecai's food would have been grown. So we have only historically accurate plants in there, so we only grow period appropriate things. We have about 40 weddings a year, and we really appeal to couples that want an intimate wedding. They love the history, they love that it's simple, and they love what it isn't, um, that it's just very, very plain and simple. We um, are home to the historic Raleigh Trolley Tours. Our trolley runs every Saturday in March through December, so it leaves for Mordecai on Saturdays at 11, 12, 1, and 2. It's an hour-long tour through downtown Raleigh. There's a guide on board that narrates the history of the downtown area, um, points out some of the places that you're gonna wanna visit. So it's really great for people who have visitors in town, but it's also great for people who have lived in Raleigh their whole lives. We really encourage um, kids of all age can come and do a field trip. We mostly work with third and fourth graders, but we can create a program for any age student. And doing the programs here, we do three programs, a tour of the house with hands-on activity, a plantation slavery program, and an Angie Johnson program. And those are free. Um, if you want to add the trolley, we will um, do a trolley tour for the kids, and that's $2 per child. Tours are offered here at Mordecai from Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 4, and Sunday 1 to 4. Thank you for watching. I'm Jamie Upchurch, News 14, Carolina.